Hey guys. A few days ago I decided to build myself a uh, high voltage dump load circuit. So I put one together with the help of few brainiacs. So here's the circuit. What it is, it's simply, depending on the voltage, we have a DC voltage 58 volts traveling through and it's getting regulated and fixed at um, some places like here at 16 and other places at 10 and so on just to regulate the power going into 324 op amp so the idea is for it to take uh, the power and um, when it uh, when it reaches uh, let's say 58 volts DC uh, it diverts the uh, the access power to a dump load or a relay which is just right here this is the chip that I'm using or an op amp it has four in it but I'm only using two <clears throat> and the pins that we're using voltage N which is the they call it VCC but the term I don't like the term VCC because it uses a uh, it uh, dependent on the on this if you're calling it a ground or voltage negative so voltage positive voltage negative and these two pins here this is the plus, it's the non-inverting pin, and the minus is the inverting pin. And depend, depending on the voltage, um, this gates, the, the, this, uh, you get voltage out or not. Let's say um, the V minus is a constant of 10 volts and that's what I have it right here so if I want the the voltage to pass through from VS plus to V out all I have to do is make sure that this V plus pin is over 10 volts if I don't want it to pass through simply keep it below 10 volts. So I put it together and um, here's what we have. Now don't laugh so hard. What you see here is simple. This is my power supply. Um, it's made of 9 volt batteries stacked together and I have a dimmer good old you know AC and MacGyver in there just to keep it working to give me my voltage you know 58, 57 and so on This is reading pin 3. This one is reading the constant for power supply VCC or voltage plus pin 4. This one is reading the power that goes to the FET which is right about here. This little monster pin 2 
into is reading the negative input. And pin 7 is the output for the charged LED, which is right there. So, and here's the crazy circuit. I don't have a red and a green LED, so all I have is two yellow, red, whatever. So this one here, it reads when it is in dump mode, which means it, the FET is engaged. So, and this one will pop up when the power is below 10 volts right there so so all I have to do to show how it works simply turn this one down and you're gonna notice that this sucker I'm a little bit off on voltage I'll take care of that later but right now this one goes to 59 I believe it just simply click, and this one starts and that tells me it's in this charging mode. All I have to do is tweak. So here it goes. So now it's below. And the fat still engaged. So the output is going. Oh, I made a mistake. That's not the the fat. <laughs> That's not the fat. Ding! This is the main power. Son of a bitch, because that would show me as yes, I'm going below, below, below. So I put it back, it goes down, and it just shuts up, and it goes up. It's all above 59, below 59. And this stupid thing is so fidgety, so it jumps 20 volts at a time. All I have to do is get a Okay. This is actually the power supply. So I'm supplying volts DC into the circuit. This one again is reading the voltage going into the op amp, PIM4 going in. Pin 3 going in, pin 2 going in. So when it clicks off, you're going to notice between this is a constant. This one, if it goes below 9.69, it just simply is going to switch. That's the whole idea. Because this is a non inverting pin, and that's the inverting pen. This is a constant at 9.69 .69. and this is what's causing that to open, the V out to open. So we'll bring her down very slow. Anyway, it's a not the best uh, it's a, not the best method to to um, increase and decrease the voltage but it'll be fine oh there he goes 
just by point zero two that pops the to the other side. And if it's below just a tad again. Whoop it's so what pops this one open it's the pin this sucker here when it's higher when it's higher simply it's in the non-inverting which means no nothing goes through no LED when this sucker is in the inverting mode no power this shuts off means the non-inverting pin higher voltage boop it lights up the the green I don't know um, anyway so uh, it's an experiment and I uh, wanted to do it and I did it and um, hey if I can do it you can do it it's just a mess alright I'm sure there's questions and I'm not able to answer them